What's up guys? It's Chris with Midwest Bay. Um, starting a channel to help people locally around the waters of Missouri and Arkansas understand better the two-handed rod fishing, uh, fly fishing, or spay casting. Uh, I started doing this three years ago all by going out to the White River one time with an overhand rod, being able to walk in the water five feet, and I'm up to my belly in deep water, and I'm casting, and I can't hardly reach the center. Long cast, but I still can't reach the center of the river, and the fish are all the way on the other side of the river. So I come home, I type in long casting, and luckily, however you want to look at it, uh, spay casting came up, ended up buying my first rod, it was a Reddington Hydrogen 3 weight, and uh, bought all the wrong shit, you know, bought it from Reds, and uh, you know, we'll get into that later, but there's a lot of, lot of things that you as a spay caster are going to prefer when it comes to shooting lines, heads, rods, everything. And that's one of the reasons why I'm starting this channel is to help people if they have questions on a certain setup. If somebody wants to come and meet me somewhere to try it out. Uh, I know K&K Fly Fishing had a uh, little spay casting uh, class on a Saturday that I wasn't able to go to. I actually went fishing. But uh, anyway, just try and get a little more people aware of it. Uh, I think, you know, once people get over the, you know, is it difficult? Well, yeah, it's, it's not easy, but the, the main cast, the, the, you know, snap T, double spay, there's a sustained anchor cast, there's touch and go cast, we can go, I'll get into this later, but, you know, they're, they're actually easier to learn than if you were to start by overhand casting. If you're a brand new person and you're starting with overhand casting and you have somebody there teaching you rather than you're a brand new person you're starting with a two-handed rod and you have somebody there teaching you, you're going to learn way faster with a two-handed rod and you're going to cover way more water. Now, smaller rivers, they're not, they're not for a two-handed rod. There's a lot of small rivers around here. A lot of lakes, you know, is what it is. Home base, Kansas City. Home waters, North Fork of the White River. And that's in the state of Missouri. And in Arkansas, the White River. White River's a lot bigger. Uh, North Fork of the White is, you know, it's... For your trout spay fishing, it is where it's at. Uh, it's got good uh, width. It's perfect for trout spay. The White River, you know, <laughs> it's a big, it's big water. You know, you won't, you'll see people wade fishing, but uh, to you know, to reach, to reach some of the areas that are holding fish, you've got to cast all the way across the river. Well, you know. A lot of people, you know, a lot of guys probably can do that. You know, it's pretty difficult to do with an overhand rod. You've got a false cast a lot to make that distance, whatever. I can whip around and throw a double spay, and I'm across the river swinging a fly. Now, the presentation probably isn't like, obviously, it's not like it is from a boat, but, you know, it, there's a, for somebody who doesn't want to buy a boat, and wants to try and reach fish on the white. Uh, that's why I picked up the two-handed rod. And I did it to start because of the distance. And then I realized how fun it was and how every cast, you have to think about it to execute it correctly. Uh, 
You know, you're going to have bad casts. You know, if, if you're the best spade caster in the world, you are still learning every cast. It is, it is, there's that much to it. Uh, you know, you may be the best uh, double spay caster, but your your snake roll sucks, okay? <laughs> I mean, and you can do it off-handed, strong-handed. You got to learn both sides uh, of both casts, or of all casts. And uh, sometimes you may have to go cack-handed on some of these casts just because of how the, the, the background cover or what's, whatever's around you to... Uh, make you have to perform that cast so you're <clears throat> no matter what you are always learning and uh, it's really fun the uh, catching a fly on a catching a fly catching a fish on a swing and fly uh, is pretty fun uh, you know I can See, obviously, it's fun too to catch a, any any fish at any time. But catching a big fish on a boat, stripping a big fly, is fun. Catching a big fish on a swing and fly is pretty fun too. I mean, they they absolutely attack a fly, and when once that line starts ripping out of your hand, and uh, you got one, it's pretty. It's just different, different game, different. Uh, all different ball game.